All right, I know a lot of you are excited for this. This is our final product of the Titan Solar Generator. Um, we've made several changes since the initial prototype. Uh, for one, it now has a 3,000 watt inverter with 6,000 watt surge, um, has up to 2,000 watts of solar input, up to 1,200 watts AC charging. Um, I'm going to go over a few of the details of it and then we will um, actually run it and show you how it works. Uh, first over here on the left is our on-off switch. We've changed this a little bit. Uh, we now have a three position switch where in the middle is off. If you flip it down, it turns on the DC only, so just the, the DC outlets, as well as the maximum power point charge controller, so you can uh, charge off a of solar in that position. Um, if you flip it to the up position, it'll turn the, the DC outlets on as well, as well as all the AC outlets. Um, and so that's the, the entire thing is on. It's not turning on right now because we don't have the battery in. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, gonna go over a few of these things. The, these three uh, outlets are connected to a 15 amp breaker. So you can run 15 amps off of these three. If you run more than that, this, this breaker will trip and you just have to push it to reset it. Same with this one, you've got these three outlets on another 15 amp breaker. You've got these uh, four DC ports, which uh, it'll also come with uh, uh, USB charging ports so you can plug into there to charge your cell phone or whatnot. These go through a 20 amp fuse. So you can pull up to 20 amps through these. Uh, each port can actually handle up to 20 amps as well, but of course if you do more than 20 amps total, this fuse will trip. And then we got this last breaker, which is the AC breaker for the 30 amp RV plug as well as these. So if you go over 30 amps total, it'll turn off all the AC and you'll have to reset that button right there to get it going again. Um, We've also changed the display. I'll show you that more when we get the power on. You'll get to see exactly what that does. Here are the ports on the, the other side that you couldn't see from the other video. Uh, here you have four inputs for solar. Um, you can use the top two for up to 1,000 watts and the bottom two for another 1,000 watts. You can go over 1,000 watts of solar, but it's only going to charge at 1,000 watts per set. Um, here you have the AC charging ports. This is where you'll take your AC charger and plug into there. And you can plug into both of them. Uh, so you could have a second charger and charge twice as much um, with that. Uh, this is our port for charging with a car charger. We have an adapter that'll plug into here and then plug into your car charger to charge from the car. And then last, we have this expansion port. This is where you can add um, other types of batteries like a, a AGM or deep cycle battery to this port. Uh, same applies with this port. Before you plug it in there, it needs to be balanced with any other batteries that are connected. Um, you don't want to put a, a fully charged battery in there if these are dead. Um, and that's very important. So let's move on to the batteries now. Um, the batteries, um, we were going to have a battery that uh, we had a main battery and then we had an expansion pack. Now we've changed it so they're all exactly the same. So this one battery can be the main battery or it can be an expansion to another battery. So these two are identical batteries. Um, on the bottom, uh, they will have covers to cover the expansion port. So if you're using it as an expandable battery, you would need to just simply remove those and then you can expand it. So now I'm going to stack these, uh, these two batteries together and then we're going to put the Titan solar generator on the top of it and then we're going to run a few things. I'm going to show you how the meter works and the switches work. Um, so anyway, we're going to stack those together now. Um, so I'm going to put this one on the bottom and that's because I haven't removed this bottom plate so it won't stack on top at this point. Um, I'm going to put this one on top of here now. Also, you need to make sure that these batteries are balanced before you stack them like this uh, at the same voltage. And I'll do another video on how to do that. These are already equalized, so you can stack them like this. Um, just basically put it on top of there. 
Tighten these latches down. And then you put the generator on top. Make sure this is off when you put it on. You don't want to get any sparks or anything like that when you, when you do that. Okay, so now we have the two batteries connected together, connected to the Titan solar generator. At this point, we can turn it on. If we turn it to DC, um, the DC plugs are now live. You can run these. Uh, as well as you can see the battery meter comes on displaying the capacity. So we have 81% of our battery left, um, uh, 28 volts, 59 amp hours. Now this I didn't program for the two batteries. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but anyway, that's come on. Uh, and it shows right here how many watts you're actually using. Um, so right now we're using four watts of power. Now that's how much power it takes to essentially run the meter, turn on the maximum power point, charge controllers, and, uh, and just, just basically run the DC power. Um, so I'm going to flip it to off now, and then I'm going to turn it to the AC-DC mode. Okay, this is essentially the exact same, except for now we've turned the inverter on, and we have AC power to all of these outlets. And as you can see, the, the wattage went up a little bit. Now we're using 8 watts of power to run that inverter. Uh, and now I'm going to show you um, kind of how it works with a plugging something in and running it. You'll see that uh, the wattage will go up. And is what this does is this reads the net watts going in or out of the battery. And I'll hook up a charger in a minute and we can see how that will go the opposite way. Um, but so just the inverter is running 8 watts. We'll turn this on. This is just a little heater. I chose the heater because it's uh, uh, quiet and you can still hear me a little bit. So it's pulling 850 watts or so. Um, I can feel the heat blowing on me, so we're going to shut that off. But the nice thing about this meter is that a lot of meters go off the voltage of the battery. And when that kicked on, it's pulling quite a bit of power pulled the voltage down so a lot of meters would falsely read a lower percentage of the battery where this is not. Um, so I'll shut that off. Uh, as you see the voltage did jump a little bit with that but this actually reads a correct percentage. It doesn't jump around a lot. Okay I'm going to plug in the AC charger so we can see how that works with the meter. Um, I have my charger right here and plug it in. Okay, turn it on. Um, now you'll notice when you're actually charging, those arrows flip to up now instead of down. So that means there's power going into the battery. Also, the display will blink instead of be solid. That way you can tell that this is actually charging right now at 531 watts. Okay, now at the same time, I'm going to turn on this heater and you'll see what that does. Okay, so now you can see that the, it's charging off the charger and it's net draining the battery at 400 watts. So this does not show exactly what's going in or what's going out, it just gives you a net. So if you take the, what the heater's using minus what the, the AC's putting in, you're actually using about 350 watts out of your battery. I'm going to shut that off because that's really hot. And so I shut that off and now it's back to charging at 529 watts. And that's, that's about it. Um, we'll do some more videos showing more details on how to use this, how to, um, how to equalize your batteries before you stack them like this, and, and a bunch of more instructional videos. But we're just excited to have this out. It's working great. And uh, thanks for watching.